Oliver didn't feel well. I'm all stuffed up in my funnel, he complained. I can't breathe properly. Well, I gave your smug fox a good clean yesterday, said his fireman. I'll have a go at your tubes this evening. That might help. You sound just like me when I've got a cold, laughed his driver. But at least you don't keep having to blow your nose like I do. The fireman cleaned Oliver's tubes, but it made no difference. He brought an inspector to see Oliver, but the inspector couldn't find nothing wrong either. While Oliver was ill, Duck had to see to Oliver's ballast wagons. This annoyed him, because it often made him short of time before his first passenger train of the day. One day, when the trucks were being more troublesome than usual, Duck bumped them. He had meant to, but the buffers jammed, and instead of bouncing like it should have done, he gave Duck a nasty jolt. He noticed no ill effects at the time, but soon after he started his passenger train, he began to feel cold and wet above his left-hand wheels. That's funny, he remarked to his fireman a few minutes later. I'm sure we filled right up with water before we started. We can't have used that much already. Can you check the gauge, please? But the water level continued to drop, and Duck's driver stopped the train and got out to take a look. He was surprised to find a steady drip of water on the corner of Duck's tanks. You must have loosened a plate when you bumped those trucks, the driver groaned. What shall we do now? asked Duck anxiously. The next station's not far. We'll get the passengers there, and a bus can take them to Tidmouth instead of us. Duck made his way to the middle station, and Bertie collected the passengers, while Duck's fireman sent for Oliver to help Duck home. Oliver thought it was a great joke. Ho 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 ho, he chuckled to himself. He was still chortling when he was coupled to Duck, and they began their journey home. It was hard work, and Oliver was feeling the strain. Study, Oliver, said his driver. Don't go putting yourself out of action, too. Oliver heaved and hauled as hard as he could. Then he felt a sharp pain through his funnel, and suddenly something shot out high into the air. No one saw it land, but Oliver didn't care. He felt well again, and was able to bring Duck and the coaches home again in fine style. You must have had something jammed across your funnel, said the driver. The extra effort of pulling Duck unjammed it and blew it out. Yes, indeed, puffed Oliver cheerfully. I feel ready for anything. Good, laughed his driver. Your train is due. You'll have no trouble with that now. And he didn't. <laughs>